Welcome to the AV42C Head Mounted Queuing System Tutorial. In this video, we will cover how to use the Head Mounted Queuing System, or HMCS for short, as well as several practical ways we can utilize this system. Make sure the HMCS switch is in the on position, then bring the visor down by pressing the visor button located here or by bringing one of your hands up to either side of your head and clicking with the trigger on your motion controller. Now you will notice that, as we look around, some elements of the heads up display will follow our view. Also note that the HUD is no longer constrained to the glass display panel up front. The HMCS can be used with several other systems on the AV42C, which I will demonstrate now. Keep in mind, however, that I am only showing a handful of situations where the HMCS comes in handy, because the possibilities are limitless. We have located some hostile air targets, so if we go to the equipment screen, for our heat seeking missiles and set the seek mode to head track, it will now search for heat signatures based on where we are looking. Please note that shooting all of your missiles at once is not the most efficient way to combat hostile air targets, but for the purpose of this demonstration, efficiency is not a concern. Also, it looks cool. At any point when using the HMCS, we can link the targeting pod to the visor by pressing the head button on the TGP screen. Now, wherever I look, I can see the TGP camera tracked to the head, almost as if I can see through the aircraft. This works well with the M230 machine gun if we set it to the slaved mode. We can then aim the M230 by using our head, which I will demonstrate now. Also note that when the TGP is linked to the HMCS, you can zoom in and out by using your thumb on the flight stick. We can also toggle the TGP camera mode just as we would when the TGP is displaying on the MFCD. I will now demonstrate a vertical landing while utilizing the TGP and HMCS as a visual aid. We can see that using these systems eliminates blind spots during landing. Notice that the TGP camera is located at the nose of the aircraft, so objects close to us will show up very close to the TGP, as we can see here. We can unlink the TGP from the HMCS by pressing the forward button. For my final demonstration, I will show you how incredibly useful the HMCS and TGP combination is when dropping ordnance on hostile targets. Note that the TGP still has a limit to how far it can look and will tell us when that limit is reached by displaying Gimbal Limit. This concludes the AV42C Head Mounted Queuing System Tutorial. As previously mentioned, the possibilities here are endless, so get creative.